Hey guys, it's Apple. In this video, I'm going to show you my personal top 10 keybinds for PUBG, which you might not know, and which keybinds I recommend for you to change. These keybinds personally help me a lot in PUBG by making it either easier to play or more enjoyable. So I hope these are useful for you as well. Number 10. Even though I'm using audio compression on my game audio, which I, by the way, recommend everyone to do so, sometimes you'll get unnecessary noise. In almost every PUBG match I hop into, I mute the game before the airplane takes off by pressing Ctrl M. To enable the sound again, press Ctrl M again. I usually enable the sound again after I open my parachute. Number 9. Quick healing and boosting. If you press the button 9 on your keyboard, you're using a bandage without the need to go into your inventory. I also bond using a bandage on 3 on the numpad and using an energy drink on 6 on the numpad. I also have num3 and 6 as buttons on my mouse. You can use these quickly if you need a fast healing or boost up. For the longer healings like first aid kits or med kits and boosts like painkillers or the syringe, you can just use the inventory because you probably have the time. Number 8. Separating jump and vault. Normally you have jumping and vaulting combined on the spacebar. To avoid slowly climbing over a little fence or wall you could have just jumped over, I recommend separating the keys. I'm using V as the key for vaulting since it's easily reachable just next to the spacebar. The spacebar will be only jump now. The V key is the default key for changing the perspective from third person to first person, but since I'm playing mostly FPP, except for some custom games and the training map, I rarely need it. I rebound the perspective change to 7 on the numpad, but some of you guys probably want to bind it to another key. Number 7. If you're holding a grenade, you can cook it before throwing. Hold the left mouse button to take the grenade in the hand. Now press R and you will hear a clicking sound. For normal grenades you have 5 seconds until it explodes. For stun grenades and smoke grenades you have 2.5 seconds. For molotovs, apples and snowballs, well, you can't cook them. Number 6. Hold right click for ADS. Normally you press right click once for ADS and hold it to go into aim mode. In ADS you have better control over your gun, so most of the more professional PUBG players and streamers switched over to hold right click for ADS. You have to change the ADS mode for that to hold and bind ADS to right click. If you ever want to use that aim mode, you could bind that to another key on your mouse if you have one. I bound it to my mouse thumb button, which presses J on my keyboard, so I bound aim to the J key. I rarely use aim, but for some situations it's still useful. You can now quickly ADS in and go out again, which is extremely useful for quick peeking or quick scoping. Number 5. When you're taking a sniper shot with a bolt action sniper rifle while being scoped in, you can hold the trigger button, which is left mouse click in default, to see where the bullet hits. Please note that you're not rechambering the next bullet in the gun until you let go of the trigger button. Number 4. You can pinpoint a marker on the map on exactly your position by pressing insert on your keyboard. This is useful if you're looting a town with your duo partner or squad and you want to mark the location of some loot you found for them. If you want to quickly delete your marker, you can press delete on your keyboard. Number 3. If you're in a firefight, you can quickly mark the relative position of an enemy in the compass on top of the screen. To do this, press Alt and mouse button 3, which is usually if you press in the mouse wheel. Some people like to bind it to mouse button 1 as well, so if they are shooting, they automatically mark the relative position of what they are shooting on. I'm not a big fan of that because you can't set a new marker before the old one disappeared. The quick marker disappears after 10 seconds. 
In some situations you might want to mark another approaching enemy, not the one you already easily killed. Number 2. Balancing the bike. In default you would have to use space and control to balance the bike mid-air. I recommend changing it to better accessible keys. I'm using 6 and 3 on the numpad. To make sure it's working too, when the numpad is disabled, I bound it to right and page down too, which are the same physical keys when the numpad is disabled. Number 1. Mass dropping stuff. When you hold Alt and then right click on some stash you have in your inventory, you'll drop half of it to the ground. It's really useful if you want to drop some of your ammo, healing or boost to your friend. If you hold ALT and then right click a gun in your inventory, you'll drop all the weapons attachments into your inventory, as long as it fits. Everything above the item limit drops to the ground, so be careful. This is useful if you want to quickly change your weapon for a gun on the ground, from an enemy or an airdrop. Bonus! I rebound unarm from X to dot and comma to prevent accidentally pressing X and putting the weapon away. That actually happened a few times to me and I died. Did I miss an important keybind? Leave a comment below to let me know. If you like this video then please click on like and consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.